My name is Scott Naismith and I'm a landscape painter. I'm going to review Jackson's Artist Acrylics. Jackson's are a UK based supplier of art materials and they're doing their own brand Artist Acrylic and this is what they look like. Now does a brand really matter first of all? Um, not really and but the initial inspection of it does. I mean uh, if we look at it uh, generally, is it, is it bad performing or good performing? And uh, it really doesn't matter from time to time what brand. Much more important is how those brands produce specific colours. So one, I find one brand can be good at producing cad reds and another brand be good at doing phthalo blues. Uh, some brands, yeah, can be better at more of those colours and other brands can be bad at every colour, so let's hear about if it's if it's really bad. So um, I'm going to be directly comparing uh, the performance of Jackson's Artist Acrylics to uh, pretty much one of the market leaders here, which is Golden. I've been using Golden paints up to up to recently, and, and still can will continue to do so um, for certain colours, and I'll go into that in a minute. So Jackson's. How are they doing for the artist's acrylics? What I have over here are some of the colours uh, that I have from the Jackson's range which have been settling now for about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Uh, possibly 15. And you can see that the greasy surface uh, of these tear-off palettes uh, show you just how much they uh, sink down with gravity, cadmium red, cadmium, uh, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, uh, genuine cerulean blue, um, emerald green, black, raw umber, and violet. And generally, looking at the consistency, it it isn't as full bodied across the board, but the black and the raw umber is really full bodied and, and thick. And the emerald green really is, is quite thick. Um, and as is this, the cadmiums are, are a little, uh, little bit more drippy than, uh, than I've seen in the past. Um, but generally they're holding up their shape, especially the violet as well. Look at it really holding its shape, holding uh, itself. And why does this matter? Well, when you apply that colour uh, straight from the tube, you sometimes want that impasto uh, texture. And a lot of the times with your non-artist acrylic, they can really melt into themselves when they dry. What you thought was a nice interest in, uh, in pastel texture melts into itself. You might actually want that effect, in which case you don't want the fuller bodied paints. Uh, let's first look at my sketchbook here. Um, uh, true to form, I'm, I'm working on cyan, magenta and yellow uh, due to my interest in an alternative colour theory for artists which uses the CMY colour wheel. Uh, now I believe that a good magenta, a good cyan and a good yellow should be the basis of all sets of paints out there. I recently got a Schmincke Primacryl acrylic set and it was completely inadequate um, with the colours that they give you. Um, the paints were quite nice, um, particularly light the uh, the titanium white, but I'll go into that later. So this is how the little diagram looks. What I've done is I've selected uh, what best from Jackson's I could find for the cyan magenta yellow uh, in the mini, uh, which is basically so that I can get the primary colours. Uh, if you don't know that that's the primary colours, check out my video, The Truth About the Colour Wheel. Uh, okay, so uh, in the middle, my Rose Madder Quinacridone from Jackson's turned out a little bit red and, and less magenta. Um, Thalo Blue was a good cyan and a cyan, uh, ca sorry, Cadmium Yellow Pale is this one here. And this one just shows you how Cadmium Red is a lot more orange um, than Cadmium Yellow Pale. Uh, and these are the resulting mixes of these colours. 
Um, we've got cyan, uh, uh, cyan here, and that primary cyan is the cyan from golden. Chronichrodome magenta and primary yellow. Um, so golden being those kind of uh, kind of market leader range, uh, I've been using them. I really like them, and I've got to say that Jackson's came up to quality. Um, the one issue I think is my selection on the uh, on the um, the magenta was a little bit towards red. Magenta is within the Jackson's range, but I thought from the diagram it looked a little bit purple. Um, and what I feel about the Jackson's range is maybe not extensive compared to not as many colours as say golden. Um, and and again, this doesn't really matter if if there's certain colours that you do like within a range. I do tend to chop and change between one range and another. Um, so there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, this little mark here shows how really good the opacity of the cadmium yellow is. I mean, the slightest bit of cadmium yellow is going to cover over um, and give you great coverage. Um, obviously with the primary yellow it's more of a of a, of a transparent colour so it's not a fair comparison to then try that. Okay, um, it pretty much stood up to it absolutely fine. I've used the same whites with both of these uh, just to really expose the colours um, a little bit. But the, the biggest test here was the thinning of the paint and I think the phthalo blue really thins well um, as does the, the cadmiums um, and uh, and this rose madder quinacridone however it's a little bit red it still works quite well it, it, it does well and I've actually added more wet paint to these um, which will tell you that the wet paint dries the exact same shade, really, as the dry paint. So there's no colour shift, really, which is a really good sign of a good paint that um, it doesn't darken too much um, when it dries. Uh, so it, there's actually there's dry paint and wet paint here, and, and I'm actually looking at it, not quite sure if it's wet or dry, because the colour has remained the same. Uh, so that's that's a good sign. So we'll, we'll shift over here, uh, this emerald green. Now what I've got here is some texture paste. Now this will represent the thinning of the colour but in a slightly different way. Now I sometimes use te texture paste to give you that nice texture. So let's take one of these colours, we'll go for the emerald green and we'll see how much of the colour remains when a lot of the texture paste is added. And it really, it really maintains the colour well. I mean, that's mostly texture paste. And we still end up with a bright, bright green or a very, very vivid green. We've not gone too much lighter than the original colour, which I was really happy with as well. I do like working with texture pastes. Okay. Let's have a look at the texture paste on the genuine cadmium, uh, sorry, the genuine cerulean blue. And let's just lift loads of this paste. Uh, loads and loads of the paste. So we're pretty much 75% texture paste here, possibly more, 80% texture paste. And we still have that vivid colour coming through and the undertones of the paint are, are, are coming through as well. Now down at the bottom here I have put down uh, Jackson's, this is Jackson's white just here and then just below it is actually Primacryl white. Now I recently, uh, I, I actually filmed a review of Primacryl uh, paints and I haven't actually put it on YouTube yet. I may do it in the near future But I wasn't as impressed with the Primacryl colors as such possibly because um, I I tried out 
Jackson's at the same time, and the the coverage of the cadmium red. I was working on a painting, and I just wanted a cadmium red. Uh, for me, that's one of the clinchers for a paint. For me, does the cadmium red really cover um, when you use it very very thin? And the answer was yes with the Jacksons, and that really uh, sold me on the Jacksons. Um, quite quickly uh, but because I was working with Schmincke uh, Primacryl at the same time it, it kind of exposed how good the Jacksons cadmium red was um, now the Jacksons is a genuine cadmium red I'm comparing it to Primacryl I'm not sure if that's genuine cadmium red I'm, I'm presuming it is um, Primacryl are Schmincke's artist acrylics uh, so but what I was impressed with the Schmincke was that the White was really good. This titanium white uh, is one of the best whites I've I've worked with, and I think it stands up better. I think it stands up better than the Jackson's white, in that it seems to create a very very smooth finish with the colours. And uh, I was starting to think when I was working with the Schmincke paints that they were they were really working quite well, and uh, it was mostly the the lighter colours mixed with the white that were actually working the best. And uh, I was I was I was loving what the white did for the paint, um, and it actually works the same with Jackson's. Now there's nothing wrong with the Jackson's white. It is a good white. It's good solid white. It's as good as any white I've worked with. I was just very surprised at how good the Schmincke, um, the Schmincke Primacryl was. A good coverage on the black. It doesn't say whether it's ivory black or Mars black or whatever, but it covers very well. Um, the coverage on it is, is really good and the consistency of it is very thick, it's very full bodied. Uh, the other crucial one is this violet here. I did like, I, I did choose the violet uh, just to check and see how well it held its, its colour. Uh, and so mixed with a little bit of white and a little bit of texture paste we can start to see the undertones of the paint and it really holds up that colour quite well uh, when you buy purples and violets they, they can uh, certainly with oils they can be quite um, uh, they can be quite easily drowned out for some reason I don't know I have found that Windsor Newtons are Violet does does work quite well, but this Jackson's purple. It's called violet. It works brilliantly I really really like that particular color and it's one I will definitely go back to um, this, So the cad red this one emerald green beautiful color the cadmium yellows. Yes um, I'm gonna try the magenta definitely um, but genuinely I think uh, Jackson's uh, artist colours will definitely be within my colours that I choose. Um, they are of, of a good price compared, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i comparing them to Golden which are much more expensive and they're really holding up well to that. Thanks for checking out Jackson's Artist Acrylics and I will see you in the next video. You can watch it on Twitter, Facebook and indeed subscribe to the channel. I'll leave a, a link uh, for you to peruse the Jackson's Artist's range. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.